On February 6, we will hold our first annual and the first ever African American Fine Arts Sale here at Swan Galleries. And this is the first sale of its kind which will feature over 200 fine works by important African American artists. The works are paintings, drawings, sculpture, collage, and works on paper by some of the most influential and important African American artists and represents really a survey of the past century of their achievements and there will be representative works from all the major periods from the Harlem Renaissance through the WPA, post-war abstraction to contemporary art today. Swan Galleries is very excited to contribute to the African American fine art market as well. We've seen a lot of growth in the last 10 years and now collectors are really looking to an auction house to take the lead and establish the secondary market for many of these artists. Lot 22 is a collection of 31 early sketchbook drawings by Charles White. And this is a very special collection. It's the first known sketchbook by Charles White. Charles White is a very important African-American artist, and this is a special group of drawings because it's really the earliest known sketchbook that he did while he was a student at the Chicago Art Institute, where he completed a two-year course of study in one year just after completing high school. And this collection also includes some early drawings. One of them is from as early as 1935, we actually found this drawing glued under one of the watercolors included in the set, and it's the only signed piece in the group. Charles White is known for his works on paper, for his drawings. These early sketchbook drawings are a glimpse into his early days and still show his immense talent as an artist. They're figurative drawings, sketches of family and friends, figurative studies, academic studies, watercolors, these drawings also show Charles White preparing himself uh, as a professional artist and shortly after he completed these drawings and these sketchbooks, he went on to join the Works Progress Administration. It's extremely scarce and a rare collection to find so many early drawings all in one lot to be available at auction. This is really something that one would find in a museum and it shows early drawings from a, a teenager who has great talent who would become one of America's great artists. Lot 29, Robert Blackburn's Cafe Scene, is a lithograph from 1939. And this again is an early example of work by a very important influential artist. Robert, or Bob Blackburn as he's known, is one of the most influential printmakers and artists of the 20th century and his work in lithography is very important. Uh, this is such an early work, an artist who had just completed high school and was studying at the famous WPA workshop in Harlem, the Harlem Community Arts Center, where he learned lithography with such artists as Reba Helfen and worked with other artists like Romare Bearden, Norman Lewis, other famous African-American artists. It was really a breeding ground for a lot of this young talent here in Harlem, where artists studied and learned lithography, painting. But Blackburn was really a printmaker first, and this is what he shows in this print. It's an it's a early lithograph. It's a very small edition. We've only found two records of this print. It's extremely scarce. And it shows already his special talent, his facility with a very difficult medium, lithography. Well, this is a crayon drawing done on a lithographic stone. It's a very direct process, and Blackburn here is showing a scene from Harlem, a cafe scene, a young couple seated, and it's an intimate scene, and he really was interested in the figure and did drawings of what he saw in, on the street and in the cafes and bars and subway cars. He started lithography and drawing in this style uh, in high school. Um, some of his earliest works were published in his high school newspaper, The Magpie. 
This print shows already his sophisticated sense of craftsmanship, the very careful modeling of the figure, and he's already showing us what skill he has and how he later turned lithography into a, a new art form and, and really popularized it in the United States. Lot 34 is an old painting by the artist Lois Jones from 1941. And Lois Jones is a very important early modern painter, an important African-American artist, an early female painter, who really was one of the trailblazers for young modern artists. She went to Paris in the late 1930s, studied there for two years from 1937 to 1939, and studied the European tradition and brought it back to the United States. As a young African-American artist, she also was very successful and was able to show her work in galleries and at the National Academy of Design. This painting was in fact shown at the National Academy of Design in 1944. We don't really see many landscapes of hers from the 1930s and 1940s. This is a wonderful scene of circus tents that she might have found uh, around Howard University where she went back to teaching and she was really an important educator at Howard University for a long time. It's typical of Lois Jones with her impastoed brush strokes, warm colors, uh, landscape with small figures. It's really about a direct observation from the landscape. In addition to this painting, we have in the auction several early works by Lois Jones, including works from the early Paris period, which are um, beautiful early landscapes, a portrait study, and a work from her brief visit to Rome. Lot 58 is a painting by Hell Woodruff entitled Totem, an early oil painting from the years of 1950 to circa 1954. This is one of the earliest known abstract works by Hale Woodruff. Hale Woodruff started, like many of these artists, in the WPA. He was a New York artist. He worked in Georgia in the 30s and 40s. He came back to New York in the 50s and started painting in an abstract style. And this is one of the few abstract paintings of his work that we found from the 1950s. Um, so it's a very early work. It was shown at a gallery here in New York called Bertha Schaefer. The gallery label is still on the back of the painting. This painting is done in a vertical format and the totem is really a, a use of, sort of tribal subject matter in an abstract form, suggestion of cultural heritage or history but using abstract shapes and forms. And El Woodruff really does a lot with a vertical format and a limited palette here. Uh, these are powerful works, but again, we've seen very few examples from the 1950s, so we're very excited to see this and to bring it to auction. <laughs>